Do you want to know about an AI tool that can help you save all that time that you spend at work reading through long boring emails, catching up with people to figure out what happened in meetings that you missed, analyzing excel sheets and struggling with all of those formulae? Yuck! You can do all of this in almost no time at all using Microsoft's insane new AI tool called Copilot 365 that's built right into Windows. I'm not even overselling this. This is probably the best piece of enterprise technology released in this decade. Copilot will work alongside you in Windows and help you save time in every app that you use from Outlook to Teams to OneNote to Excel, PowerPoint, the list is endless. Why don't I help you bring this to life and understand just how magical this product is. And let's take examples from apps that you probably use the most and let's get started right now. First, let's start with Outlook. It can basically help you do three things there, create, edit, and catch up. When you open your email at the beginning of a day or coming back from a vacation, many times you're already overwhelmed with the number of emails waiting for you. And typically you proceed to then painfully read each one of these taking so much time. For me, it's literally like that sinking feeling when my finger has to move towards that button to start. I'm just like, not anymore. Copilot can help catch up on your emails and pull out to the top what really matters from all of that information overload. It can help you triage your inbox so you can prioritize the most important emails. This works both on the desktop and also on your phone, but it goes further. If you need to now reply to an email, uh, let's say asking for your approval for something, just tell Copilot what you need and it will create a response in your specific writing style, which it intelligently learns from your earlier emails. And then you can edit it just by giving it text prompts before sending it out. What's more, you can even tell it things that require cognitive ability to analyze and process. For example, you can ask it to highlight risks mentioned in another document, and you can also ask it to analyze data from an Excel that you prompted to use and attach all of this into the email draft you're creating. Come on, Microsoft, you're killing me. At least leave something for me to do. Next, let's talk about Teams. Let's imagine the most common situation when you join the Teams meeting late. Copilot will actually create a summary of everything that's happened so far to catch you up. Documents shared in the meeting, action items discussed, so you don't miss something that you need to do. Even if you can't attend the meeting, you can just follow the meeting and Copilot will send you a summary right after. You know what this means, right? You can be in two places at once. You can literally attend two meetings at the same time and not miss out. But wait, there's more. Once again, Microsoft took it to the next level. Let's say in the meeting summary, you realized one of your customers was discussed. You can now ask Copilot clarifying questions about which other customers were discussed and what else is relevant. Literally like talking to someone who was actually there. Next, let's talk about PowerPoint. Everyone has had that moment when their boss said something like this document or this product spec sheet, you know, is great, but let's turn it into a PowerPoint presentation for the next meeting. Well, you don't need to now sigh and spend the rest of the week painfully aligning boxes and adding images. Copilot will do it for you in a second. And you don't have to just accept what it does. You can directly edit it by prompting it in the chat box like ChatGPT. For example, something like add a slide about the cost benefits of sustainable materials or reduce the amount of text in this slide or animate this slide. And if that wasn't enough, it's going to help you prep for the presentation to absolutely smash it by writing you speaker notes in the presentation itself. By the way, if you have any questions, thoughts or suggestions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll reply. Next, let's talk about Copilot and Excel, which can do all of your analyses in no time and there's no need to write complex formulae at all. For example, you can simply ask it to give you the key trends from an Excel data sheet and now you can ask it follow up questions where it'll create a new sheet for you to further play around with the data as needed. Now, as if Copilot was an actual person, you can actually ask it intelligent questions like, why is the sales going down? And it'll analyze and highlight the cases where that's happening. You can even ask it what if scenario questions like, what if this data trend was different and it can reprocess and show you the results and how the outcomes would have changed and at any point, you can even ask it what it did and how it did it and it'll explain it to you like a teacher. Which of these features are actually useful to you? Let me know in the comments below. So, how does this all work? Copilot is basically ChatGPT, which needs no introduction for you, 
plus Microsoft's next-gen graph technology, which is basically a way to process search queries and link them to the right results. And finally, Microsoft's natural language processing model, which helps Copilot understand what you're typing. And now, finally, the big question. How do you get a hold of this? How do you actually get to use Copilot in Windows 11? What do you need to do? What do you need to pay? The answer is going to be your favorite part of this video. Nothing. Copilot 365 is an enterprise feature that companies get with the next update of Windows on November 1st, 2023. Uh, except that they have to pay an extra 30 bucks per month per user to Microsoft. But I think most are gonna do that just given how useful this product is. So ping your IT team and figure out if you're going to get this and when to subscribe. And why don't you watch next my review of the amazing new iPhone 15. See you there.